folks, this is your old pal, Uncle Al. Let me take off my shades. Yeah, I've kind of noticed I haven't changed my shirt. It's the same shirt. I just opened the collar up a little bit and go over to the Indian Casino and play a little bit. So, for all those people who donated in the month of September, thank you very much. I just finished covering it. We're going to supply diapers, um, uh, what you call it, uh, powdered milk insure, what is it, diapers, powdered milk insure, and canned foods for disabled and elderly. Because Uncle Ann knows how to run a food bank. And I'm mad at a couple of people. They still owe me like $950. It's like, you idiots, when I get sick, you screw up everything. Okay, today is VR2. What the hell I'm doing on VR2? Uh, okay, I'm doing a VR2 Liberty Garden. Go check them out. Go check out Magic Prepper, Idaho Prepper, uh, EDCQ, and the best damn EDC. Go check out that, those channels with Liberty Garden. Okay, and also my friend, go get his books. I always mention them in the description. The Modern Survivalists. Because Uncle Alan's an outlaw. I don't play by the rules. All right, VR2 Liberty Garden. Um, why I picked this area? This is originally was my bug out area, escaped the rest of California. I choose it because... It wasn't affected by the, uh, whatchamacallit, politics of the blue. It's in a rural area. If I can't smell cow shit, I'm not living there. Okay, they ruined a lot of places I used to live. I had it. This is my last stand. So if I survive, this is, like I said, this is out, my bug out location. It's nice. It's pleasant. I could sit back and watch you guys run around in circles screaming we gotta go into the woods and I'm kind of looking at you what the hell's wrong with you go away okay get off my lawn go check out Maccabeetus Everyday Survival that's two movies by Clint A. Squid saying get off my lawn old lady with a shotgun Clint A. Squid with N1 Garand go check out those movies a lot of people don't ever watch Clint Eastwood. anyway I'm tired. All right. Got sick. It doesn't look good for me because I just came back from the doctors. And what's my call? I got to eat something. They said my blood sugar is too low. I'm looking at them like, okay, but I'm no longer doing chicken, tofu, or fish. Okay. I need iron. I keep telling them that doesn't supply iron or protein. Who in the hell eats chicken mayo? Or is it uh, egg mayo? My niece made me a uh, toast and a couple of pickles and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a short on it. This is not good food for people who are sick. All right. Reason why I chose this area. It's comfortable. I like it. I could drive around. I know a lot of places. I could pick up stuff. All right. If I do get better, it's going to be my base of operations. Okay, B-O-L, base operation location. Or B-O-L, bug out location. I don't like going into the woods. I've been there, done that, don't care for it. All right, you spent a winter up in the high Sierra. See how you like it. I have experience. Goo guys don't. All right. I'm sitting this one out. Oh, that article was written by a guy who was hired by a tech company. Also was hired by BlackRock and CCP. CCP, yeah. And a few other notorious corporations. So I wouldn't believe this guy. Remember, everybody who took journalism since after 1968 cannot be trusted. All right, they could be hung. You see a lot of Christmas trees or they found them in the ditch. What happened to them? Victim of war, okay? Like I said, 
things are coming, winter is coming. All I could do is give you advice. Uncle Alan's got his plans. If I do survive, then it's base operations. If I don't survive, this is my last stand. And I die peacefully. They cremate me, put in a little, uh, little box, cedar box, and that's it. But a lot of you don't have contingency plans. You always exercise, I'm Batman. But Batman always have contingency plans for everybody. Um, because I'm a comic nerd and I know all that stuff. But a lot of people, you don't. You don't have, what am I going to eat for supper next day? That's your frame of thinking. Uncle Alan plans like a couple of years ahead of time. All right. That's why Uncle Alan's tired. So this is a VR2. Liberty Garden. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the rumor. Okay. If it was aliens that visit you, it'd be kind of funny because they have mind control. So you probably had a great old time with two alien transvestites. Don't know about it. And you keep working out. All right, folks. Grow a garden. Don't eat people. I keep telling this, everybody. Get a mentor. Learn how to process, store, and put away foods. Because a lot of you don't. Uh, and then number three, get a bike. God bless. Good luck. And what I mean by a bike is a bicycle. God bless. Good luck. Let's see. God bless. Good luck. Reality check time is 2024. A lot of people are still in that little 50 mile circle. And it's going to kill you. I'm going to just die quietly on the couch. A lot of you are going running around with their cell phones, smartphones, Q codes, neural links, screaming, it's not Mark of the Beast. Go look at a Q code.